Hello, this is Edwin from Tink to Win, and I'm here with a new deck profile. And as you guys can guess from the sleeve, it's going to be about Gold Paladins again. Because once a sacker, always a sacker, right? So yeah, let's go on with the deck profile. So for the starter, I used Wingo Liberator. Yes, I explained why it's bad, and it's still the same like always, but uh, you guys will see why I'm running Wingo Liberator later on the deck. Um, yeah. Um, basically, uh, you need ultimate sack because you need to ride Blaster Blade as your grade 2 because if you do not, there will be no Blaster Blade in the soul. So, uh, yeah, basic ability uh, Forerunner goes back to record if you ride another Gold Paladin. Then, if you uh, boost the. No, not the Vanguard, it can be any unit, and you hit the Vanguard, you can put this card in the soul and Superior Call Blaster Blade Liberator from your soul. Yeah, best effect ever. But you guys will see why I run this card. Next, for the trigger lineup, I still run uh, the same. So, uh, 4 crits, 4 more crits, 4 heals, and 4 draws. Um, still liking the draws. Sometimes you need some draws in the damage. Um, I don't suggest running 12 crit because then you need to run non liberator triggers. So, yeah. And the running heals is always good because healing your Dermis is always good. Next, for the grade 1 lineup. Four perfect guards, four Barco Liberator, four Marin, and two Josephus. Two Josephus because I basically dropped all the Josephus for more Barco Liberators. Josephus is really good when you Superior Call it though. Um, it's effective as if you Superior Call from the deck, and you have a Liberator Vanguard, you can Soul Blast one Liberator, and you can draw a card. Basically, didn't rain, but a bit better since it's 7k. Um, Marin, uh, still the 10k attacker. Um, if you do not have any rearguards, call to rearguard and bash either the rearguards or the vanguard, depending on if they have an 11 gear or not. Um, and the only requirement was that, that you have uh, need to have a liberator vanguard, so 10k attackers, always good. And well, let's go in with the perfect guards first. The perfect guards basically block all the, the gauntlet buster, all threats, everything after breakout of cancelled, all the high numbers, so uh, that's why I run four perfect guards. Because getting crit early game is not good. And the more you run, the higher the chances you get one in your hand. Also the fact that you can superior call it from your deck with either offsets or Garmus effect makes it more logical to run for perfect guards. So. And then for bar call liberator. Yeah, best card ever. Basically if you boost blaster blade liberator and it hits the vanguard, you can check the top three and call any of those three until the rearguard in rest. So plus one. Yes. I will explain the tactics of the deck later. Well obviously if we're gonna run Barco Liberator and Wingo Liberator, I need to run for Blaster Blade, for Escrut, and for Felon. Well Felon is the most obvious one. I mean gold Pelman Liberators without Felon is bad because it's a 12k attacker. So everybody will run for Felon. 12k attackers. So yeah, against 3k if you have a Liberator Vanguard, good against 11k's, good for making rows against cross rides, so always run for Felon, right? Then for Escarot. Basically, uh, Vivian, but doesn't need the boost, and it also needs to have a Liberator Vanguard, and I think you also need a special counter blast. Yep, so. So uh, if the his attack hits the Vanguard, you can Counter plus one liberator and call the superior card to and superior call the top card from your deck. So that's it for Escrot. And for Blaster Blade, because uh, if I run less and <laughs> I have four bar call liberators and the Wingo Liberator, it will be bad. So basically if you write this early game, you can use Wingo Liberator's effect later if you hit. That's the stupid thing about it, but yeah. And next for the great tree lineup. Full Alfred and three Garmor. Um, well, the reason I run only run three Garmor is because I prefer Alfred more. And yeah, the thing is, the Garmor is more random because you're calling your whole field and it's limit break too. So yeah, well, basically I'll explain the skills. Uh, Alfred, uh, Alfred Garmor's ability is limit break four. Count plus three, and then every time you can check the top card of the liberator and call it to rear guard circle. So basically, okay, top card liberator, call to rear guard, top card liberator, call to rear guard. So you can make a full free uh, field, like uh, 
I think they called it the Ring of Friendship or whatever in the anime, oh, I forgot. So uh, that's what you could do with that. Um, the reason I only run three is because uh, I don't like calling my whole field on the top of my deck. If you get four triggers, you're screwed. Uh, also, uh, it has another skill. You can put one card from the field to the bottom of your deck, and it also gains 4k. Next, for Alfred. Yeah, gains 2k when he attacks from every Liberate Rearguard. And you can also counter bless two which is not limit break and call the top check the top card from your deck and if it's liberated it, call it to rear guard circle so like Azel but um, since it's not limit break it's a bit better uh, yeah and with the power up and stuff it's a very good card so basically always hitting for high numbers when you reach limit break do know that uh, the power up is limit break unlike the old offered so yeah up to explain how the deck works um, yeah, depending on how your hand looks like, um, you could do stuff like this, okay, uh, let's do it like this, right, grade one, and if you have this, and this in your hand, you will call this rig out here, then next turn, we'll ride my Boonshin, and then, uh, call Barker Liberty in the back, attack, and check the top three, and plus one, yes, best play ever, if you do not get this combo, you can still pressure them with escrots and hope you hit and you can plus one again um, the reason I'm running three garmors instead of four is because I have all these plusing, not plusing, more like top decking card support that I lead less garmors um, I also don't want to commit to having limit break because that's really annoying if early game um, you get like a lot of damage and you have to take a lot of damage I mean even though you plus a lot if you cannot heal if you do not heal more um, you're screwed because you had 4 damage you always have to block and if they get critical you're screwed so that's why I don't like armor that much and I like all fat way more also uh, their arts match a bit more so I guess uh, legion confirmed anyway that's pretty much for this deck um, yeah, that's pretty much complete stand of the deck profile. If you guys like the videos, please subscribe and see you guys at the next video.